Shalom, this is Rabbi Kurt Landry, and we're a special edition of PowerPoints. We're speaking about love. And I uh, hope you're receiving some of this as correction, because when you love somebody, you do speak correction. Yesterday, we talked about being rude, and uh, sometimes some of us talk too much, and some of us don't listen enough. And then some of us are really too quiet, and we should speak up. There's a balance there in the cultural, social interaction. But it goes on in 1 Corinthians 13, and it says, uh, love, it does not insist on its own way. Um, I'm going to take this one to a higher level. When you know in your life, when you're a mature Christian and you know the Lord as the Lord, because people know him in seasons, they know him as Savior, they're born again, they get filled with the Holy Spirit, they're water baptized. But knowing him as Lord means that you love him enough to not have your own way. So that means that you pray and he leads your day. He leads your night um, and he orders your steps. Um, when you get into an interaction with another human being, you could choose to be angry, but you know that sin. So you choose to walk in forgiveness. Um, uh, you, you get impatient. You want to somehow push and manipulate and rush ahead, but you choose and you know that manipulation is as witchcraft. It's rebellion. So you don't want to do that. So, so you learn how to not only behave like a Christian, but to allow the Lord to have his way over your way. And when you love God and you grow in that love, you will actually allow him to order your steps, even when you think you're missing things because you think, gosh, I have enough skill base in my uh, social skills. I could have pushed that through. But isn't it interesting when you get more mature, it's like, no, I missed out on that, but I'm showing the Lord. Unless the Lord opens the door, I'm not going to beat on doors anymore. I'm not going to pull the doorknob off doors and I'm not going to insist to get to the front of the line because I'm going to trust that if I'm patient and I walk in patience and love is patient, love is kind. If I'm patient and I'm kind and I'm not envy of someone in front of me that I can trust the Lord and I don't have to have my own way because his way is better. God bless. I'll see you tomorrow.